Hi and welcome to part 24 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part we are going to create our home page and for that we need to create a new controller so we can render the view. Let's go to the controllers folder and inside this folder we create a new controller. We leave the name by default home controller since we are going to render the home page and then we add it. As we have already seen on the first part, our home page is going to consist of a slider and the preferred drinks. Since we are going to show the drinks inside the home controller constructor, we are going to inject the drink repository. And we are going to return to the home page a view. So for that we change the i action result to view result and we modify the code inside here. Let us go to the view models folder and create a new view model. We create a simple class and we name it home view model. On the home page, we are going to display only the preferred drinks. So for that, we need only one property, which is going to be of type I enumerable of drink, and we name it preferred drinks. We save the file and we go back to our controller. So inside here, we use our new view model. We write var home view model is equal to a new home view model and we import the necessary namespace the preferred drinks property is going to contain all the preferred drinks which we get from the drink repository dot preferred drinks property and at the end we return this view model to our view so until now we have gotten all the data to our controller but for this controller we need to create a view so we can actually display the data let us go to the views folder and inside this folder we create a new one which we name home since home is the name of our controller and inside the home controller we create a new view and we leave the name by default index.csharphtml. We delete the default created code and the first thing that we need to do is that we need to declare the model of the data that we are going to show which is the home view model. The first thing that we are going to show on the view, it is going to be a partial view which we are going to create and this partial is going to be named carousel. Let's show all the preferred drinks inside a div tag and this tag has the class row which is a bootstrap class used for alignment. After that we create a for each loop which is going to iterate through each of the preferred drinks and display them. So var drink from the model and this model has the property preferred drinks. On the previous parts we have already created a partial view to display drinks and we have named that one drinks summary. So we are going to use the already created partial view to display this data. So we are going to write HTML partial and here we have already said that the next parameter is going to be the name of the partial and the parameter that this partial is going to get to display the data. So let us now create the other partial view. Inside the shared folder, we add a new item and this is going to be of type view. So we change the name to carousel.csharphtml and we add the file. For this one, I'm going to copy paste the code from my GitHub repository and provide a link for you down below on the description section. But before we compile our application, let us first go to the index let us change this one to async method. So we are going to write await. We are going to use the partial async method. What this does is that it's going to render our carousel asynchronously. So in case it needs some time to load the images from the sliders, then it's not going to keep the whole application waiting. When it's ready, it's going to be shown. Let us start the application and check the result. And we see that our application was run successfully. So here on the first part, we have the three slides which come from this HTML partial async carousel. And after that, we have the h2 tag and h4 tag. At the end, we have the three preferred drinks, which are rendered by this for each loop. And all the other properties like the image, the title and the price are being rendered by using the drink summary partial view. So this is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.